Hopefully this works better. Ah, oh, I think I might finally have my chats going the same way as uh, horizontal. That took a little bit. Sorry guys. As always, my name's Brian Fleming from buildingsocialproof.com. I make these videos up on Periscope. Oh, I love this, man. I can do this finally in landscape mode and read people's names. Mustafani24 just joined. Awesome. Just, just give a shout out when you guys join on Periscope and let me know where you're coming from. As always, I am broadcasting from the sad town of Detroit City. And I'm sad because football just started in my Detroit Lions. They suck. They can't seem to win a game. So whatever. I've been a Lions fan for a long time. Hey, we've had bad teams before. And you know what? In 2015, our Detroit Lions NFL team doesn't look so hot. We lost two games and we got to go next week, Sunday night against Denver. Oh, that's going to totally suck. But this um, Periscope video I made, I wanted to make today is the lazy man's way to choosing social media sites. Hey guys, as you join in, just looky, just shout out to where you're from so I can give you a shout out and we know where everybody's coming from on Periscope. You guys, as you're joining in on Periscope, I want you to know I take these videos and I put them out to YouTube. So hey guys on YouTube, if you're watching, join up to Periscope, man. You can hop in on the chats and ask questions. It's a lot of fun. I know we got Obstacle Media just joined. Where are you from, Obstacle Media? Let us know so I can give somebody a shout out and we can say where everybody's from. But I, I post it to my blog. I also take these videos, if you guys are watching it on iTunes as a video podcast, I export them and send it up and I know a lot of you like them there too. So I take these videos and I put them all over the place, but you know, the videos always start with Periscope. So that's why I make them on Periscope. We're gonna talk a little about, bit about Periscope today, but what I wanted to talk to you guys today is the lazy man's way to choosing social media sites. Because when you first get started with social media for your business, it can be really overwhelming. You know, there's so many sites. How do you even know which one to pick from? And some of them, frankly, you can just go there and waste a whole bunch of time with them and get nowhere. So I want to give you the, the top sites and I'll just uh, put a little blurb in there of why I think they would be good for your business, a good choice to get started with or, or where you should kind of put them in your social media market journey so looks like we got some people joined up on Periscope and let's get started with it so the the first site hey guys it should be no surprise at all you've heard me talk a lot about it but when when you're getting started with putting your business online for social media marketing hey Facebook that's where you need to be you got to start with Facebook why if Facebook's the largest social network and if you google it and look at charts it is hands down there is number two is not even close so Facebook has this monster lead on everybody. And if you wanna be lazy about your social media marketing, why not start with the biggest social media network? Because everything you post, it just has more eyeballs on it. It just has more reach. So to be lazy about our social media marketing for our business, we wanna look at Facebook because Facebook is the largest social network. Everything you do on Facebook is gonna work better than the other ones because there's just more people on them now. You guys have heard me talk many times before and you know the problem with Facebook is they're not gonna be really nice to you unless you wanna buy ads with them. But don't make the common mistake of going, oh, ads, forget you Facebook, I don't wanna do it. Really look into their ad platform because they open up the kingdom to you. They make it uh, very, very beneficial to use their ads. And I can tell you after using a lot of different ad platforms out there, Facebook's is the best. They have that secret sauce because you know what? They know everything about us. They know crazy things about us you would never think they even knew. Like, how would they know people are in the market to buy a BMW? Like, how would they even know that? Uh, they tie into other companies who have information on us and they're able to know a lot of things. I even think, I have no proof, but I even think when you buy things at the grocery store and you got those little discount cards, I think Facebook even ties into those people and knows what you buy, but that's just me. So when we get started, you gotta look at Facebook. You have to consider them. You gotta make a Facebook page and look at their ads because that is really gonna move the needle for your business. If you figure out Facebook ads, you will really start cooking with your business. So. Facebook's number one, that should be no surprise. But what's number two? Well, I always tell people number two for your business is look at Twitter. Why? Twitter's super easy to get started. I mean, all you guys on Periscope obviously are already on Twitter, but Twitter's super easy to get started with. 
and it, it's just lightweight and fast. It's 140 characters. You can't say much. You, you can put links and stuff out, uh, but it, it's easy to get started with. And the great thing about Twitter is you think of Twitter like the world's largest cocktail party. And you can go into this cocktail party any minute of the day and start making business connections. That's the first use for Twitter is meeting other people on Twitter and making business connections from it. Yeah, you can do stuff like tweet your links out if you get a bunch of followers and get good traffic on it. But for your business, the number one thing for Twitter should be uh, to build up business connections. That's just my tip on using Twitter. Number three, I would recommend you seriously look at YouTube. Hey, uh, Kaboom417, happy to have you here on Periscope. We're just talking about social media marketing sites uh, for the lazy guy. Which ones are the easiest to get started with? We've covered a few. We're on YouTube now. And the great thing about YouTube is longevity and sheer use. Most people today, when they have a problem, uh, they need to fix something, they have a question, you know what? They go to YouTube. They go there before they want to read something because we're all lazy. I mean, we'd all rather watch a video. Just show me how to fix the spark plug on my car. I don't want to read a document to do it. So the thing with YouTube, if you can make videos, YouTube is huge. It's the second largest search engine on the planet, right behind Google. And number three is very far behind. And it's also one of the largest social networks. So don't overlook YouTube. It really should be a big part of your social media marketing strategy because the longevity guys on these videos, you post a video today in 2015 and I will guarantee you by 2020, that video is still sending people to your site. They just last a long time. It's a great thing. So do not forget about YouTube when you're looking at social media marketing sites that you can do in a lazy way. YouTube is definitely one of them. Next one is LinkedIn. When we're talking business, hey, you got to look at LinkedIn because LinkedIn is just a business network. I think last count I heard, they were around 200 million people. So for social media marketing networks, not the biggest network in the world, but when you're thinking if you're in business to business, LinkedIn is a great network to get started with because it's all business people. You know, Facebook, maybe only a percentage of those people are interested in business, like a small percentage, but LinkedIn is exclusively for business. The next one you're gonna wanna consider, and I really didn't get on the bandwagon with this one, I mean, hell, I'm still not on it, is Instagram. Now, why I didn't get started with Instagram is pretty simple. You can post things to Instagram, pictures, but you can't link back to your site. So because I froze, I had a call. If you can't link back to your site, um, why even bother using Instagram? So I didn't use it, but you know what? Even if you can't link back to your site, a lot of people love Instagram because even though you get that profile link, you get a slew of traffic. So businesses have been having huge success with Instagram. Do not cut that one out of your social media sites when you're looking at them. Instagram can be huge. Okay, the next one is Google+. Google+, Plus is good for your business for SEO. I am not sure what the hell Google's gonna do with their network, uh, because they're, with Google+, Plus, they're, they're kind of decoupling it from their other Google services. But the cool thing about Google+, Plus that a lot of people don't know, is as you have followers and you post something like, great travel deal, and you link to something, when your followers go to Google and they type, great travel deal, you pop up in the number one position. Everybody wants to get to the top of Google. Hey, it's easy with Google Plus, they let you do it. The trick is, is you need to be working on getting a lot of followers because it's your followers that see those rankings. So Google Plus for the SEO, I would definitely consider them, but kind of put them toward the bottom of your list because I'm not really sure what the hell Google's gonna do with Google Plus. They may even bail on it because they've done that in the past and I don't trust them. Okay, now, the, one of the, some of the last social networks for business, a lot of people don't think of it as a social network. If you're a local business, if you're local, if you're not local, don't worry about this, but if you're a local business, your number one social network should be Yelp. Why Yelp? Because people go there for reviews. When people are searching for your business online, they wanna see five-star reviews, and Yelp is the authority on reviews. Google has them too, but spend your efforts on Yelp and trying to build up the most five-star reviews in your city, in your category. That is totally gonna move the needle for you. Yelp can make or break businesses, so do not forget Yelp if you're a local business. Very, very important. So, I've covered a bunch of sites here. What about the rest of them? I mean, what about Periscope? Well, Periscope is a new social media network, and it's, 
it's not easy. It doesn't have automation tools built up to it yet, and it's still relatively small. I think Periscope, we're at like 15 million people now. I mean, that's nothing compared to Twitter at 300 million or LinkedIn at 200 million. So these other networks are smaller and typically are just not gonna move the needle as much for you as the ones I just told you about. So in general, guys, you wanna start big. Start with the biggest social network, start with one at a time and work your way down look to automation tools to make it easy so you can be lazy about it. And that's about it, guys. So those are the best ones. Now, if uh, you're just getting started to social media marketing and you really just don't have a clue about what to do, head on over to buildingsocialproof.com on the homepage. There's uh, uh, a little spot. You can enter your email and when you do that, you're going to get some emails from me and every day I'm going to give you a little lesson on what to do. And at the end of seven days, you're going to have a really nice social media marketing strategy that you can work through with your business and have a schedule and know what to do. Uh, it's my way of helping you out because that's what I do. I help people with social media marketing amongst other things. Well, guys, my name is Brian Fleming. I hope you enjoyed this video and I got another one coming for you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.